<sighs> Any Spanish people here tonight? <laughs> They're always in the. We are all here. Mira. <laughs> what kind of Spanish are you? Are you La- Latino Spanish or are you? Or is Spanish from Spain? Mexican? What the fuck are you doing in England? <laughs> they said head for the border, not the borders. <laughs> what are you doing in England? Your parents came here? My dad's Mexican. My dad's Mexican? <laughs> and he ended up in England? Sorry? Your mom's English. Your mom's English. I, I, I figured that much. But how did they meet? Your mom worked in Mexico, apparently. And, uh, <laughs> do you speak Spanish at all? I, I don't have to, you don't have to answer me in Spanish. It's not like, it's not like you're going to go, un poquito, and I'm going to go, it's not going to happen. You know what I mean? It just, I live in Los Angeles, so I mean, I should know Spanish, and my wife is, is Latina, so, you know, I, I should know at least something, but... I don't know shit, you know. I know I like the way Spanish sounds when South American people are speaking it. I like the way it's, I I don't understand it, but at least the words are clear to me, you know what I mean? When I hear them speaking, I know when a sentence begins, and I know when it ends, and you can tell by the tone whether it was a question or a statement, you know, like, I don't know, fuck yeah, you know. So what I'm trying to say is, with the Spanish language, I have ADD. I get distracted real easy. I, uh... But what I'm saying about the Spanish, can I get back to that there, Chung Wing man? Um, the Spanish that the South American people speak, what I'm really trying to say is, I just like the way it sounds. Because uh, the words are clear to me. I, and the reason I say this is because last year I went to Spain. And uh, if you've ever gone to Spain and you heard the real Spanish being spoken, you know that it sounds gay as shit. <laughs> uh, tell me I'm lying. They speak Spanish with a lisp over there. I didn't know. I got off the plane. The guy's like, Hola, senor. Como estas? I'm like, seriously, dude? That was a long flight. I'm sure you're a great human being. But I'm not prepared for this right now. I'm going to talk to this guy. Excuse me. Si? First time in Barcelona? <laughs> it freaks me out that they all speak Spanish with a lisp over there and then you go to places like South America and they don't speak Spanish with a lisp at all and you think they would because the Spanish went to them and made them learn their language but even they realized how fruity it sounded repeat after me como estas como estas no 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 oh oye oh yeah. Como estás? Como estás? Why won't you sound like me? Because you sound gay. And I'm trying to figure it out when I'm in Spain. Like, how can an entire country speak with a lisp? This makes no sense to me. There's no way that they can all have an oversized tongue. So I asked around, and this is what they told me, I'm not making this up, they told me that apparently back in the day in Spain, there was a king who had a lisp. And in honor of the king, everybody spoke with a lisp. And I'm like, that's the, and then it just stuck. I'm like, that's the dumbest story I've ever heard in my life. And then I started thinking about it. Maybe that's what happened to our Indian people. Maybe we sounded like this. And then some king came along, he's like, hello everybody. And everyone's like, yo, what's up with the king, dude? Is his head loose? I don't know, but just talk like him so he doesn't feel like an asshole. Yes, sir, can we help you? 